this is not a drill this is a drill but this video right here is not a drill bruh kendrick lamar k dot kung fu kenny whatever other name oklahoma apparently we're calling him now after six years finally uh today april was it april 18th 2022 has announced the release date and the title to his upcoming album and that upcoming album is titled hold up mr morale and the big steppers bro when i heard that i i read the, the initial news bro and i couldn't get over that title man i'm you know, I'm here today in this chair to just speculate and to just read way too deeply and overanalyze every bit of information that we got today. Um, the release date is May 13th, so just a little bit over a week after my birthday. My birthday is May 4th, so happy birthday to me. The announcement came uh, via the Oklahoma website, and uh, I'll, put, I'll put it up right here, the press release. It says, from PG Lang, uh, from the desk of Oklahoma for immediate release, Los Angeles, California, April 18th, 2022. The following statement was released today by Oklahoma, Kendrick Lamar, through his company, PG Lang, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, Los Angeles, California. Album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, release date, 5-13-2022. All factual information for this release will come directly from this source only. So first of all, I really fuck with that. You know what I mean? If you're going to hear any information about track list or who's featuring on it or who's producing on it or whatever, you're going to hear it directly from the source. You're going to hear it right there from the website, from the man himself. Now, let's break down this title. Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. First of all, Leave in the comments, speculate away, let me know what y'all think uh, it could mean. But personally, personally, I'm thinking, hold on, let's look this up. Morale. Define morale. Morale means the confidence, enthusiasm, and discipline of a person or a group at a particular time. So combine that with let's let's break down the big steppers mr morale and the big steppers a stepper is someone who's uh, who's about about it you know what i mean Who, who's about that life will step to you you know what i'm saying maybe in an aggressive manner so you say mr morale and the big steppers i'm kind of thinking first of all the first thing that popped into my mind was uh the the popper and the the prince and the popper or something like that i don't even know what it is but that's the first thing that popped in my head but when you break it down like that um mr morale the big steppers it's kind of reminiscent a good kid mad city mr morale this guy who has this confidence and all this enthusiasm and discipline and carries himself a certain way around these big steppers the people that are about it, about it the people that'll step to you the people that'll you know bring the drama so uh, you know, it kind of reminds me of that. It kind of reminds me of Good Kid, Mad City. But it also could be, um, you know, morale is a... What do I want to say? Mm. I feel like it's very, like, uh, synonymous with uh, morals. You know what I mean? So I think maybe it could be a play on that. Maybe it could be, you know, a uh, loose concept album. Just talking about morals and shit. Um, man, after six years, bro, I, I literally have no clue what this album could have on it. Um, I saw a few years ago, not a few years ago, maybe a year ago now, that uh, he and the label, they filed for trademarks for like th over 30 songs or something like that. Um, actually, let me look this up. Hold on. So, this is an article from Complex, September 5th, 2022. Um, song titles include Before the Hangman's Noose, Comfortable, The Rector, Fighter, Thief in the Night, Fade to Black, Erica Kane, End of the Line, Of Poppers and Poets. Maybe that's where I got it from. What the fuck? Believe, Driving Down the Darkness, End of the Line, and Fell for You. All songs that definitely sound like Kendrick Lamar titles. You know what I mean? Um, I'm assuming those, those songs will pop up. Um, 
Now let's go to wish list. You know what I mean? What do I want to see on this album? Well, I want to see and I expect to see Keem at least on a couple songs. The one collab that I really want to see on an album, it might be obvious, but Kendrick and Cole. You know what I mean? They haven't done anything since uh, Black Friday, which was, I don't even know how long ago, at least five years ago. They haven't collabed at all uh, since then. I'm kind of hoping for a Black Hippie reunion, especially since this is Kendrick's last album on TDE. Uh, hoping, you know, they get the crew back together. I'm pretty sure a uh, photo was surfaced doing the rounds of, I don't think Kendrick was there, but Absol, Schoolboy, J-Rock, they were all in the studio doing their thing. So maybe it was for, you know, something for this project. I would love, love, love to hear Frank Ocean and Kendrick, to hear what that collab would sound like. Tyler, the creator, and Kendrick is another one that I would absolutely love. Uh, let me know down in the comments some collabs that you would love to hear on this album with Kendrick. Um, let's move on to producers I want to hear on this. I would love to hear Kendrick and Hit Boy link back up. Uh, off Good Kid, Mad City, Backseat Freestyle. Kind of the song, I want to say the song that put Hit Boy on the map. I think that was Niggas in Paris. But uh, a song that just further proved what Hit Boy is capable of. And those two sounded like they had great chemistry together. So I would love to see Hip Boy and uh, Kendrick link back up. Would also love to hear some Pharrell production on this as well. Also going back to the collabs, would love to hear Pusha T. You know what I mean? The list is long. It's a lot shorter list of people I don't want to see collab with Kendrick. But also Kendrick, someone who's light on the features. Um, you know, he's kind of a, a solo solo guy. He doesn't fuck with a lot of people Y'all let me know down in the comments some producers you would love to hear link up with Kendrick um, Man, bro, and it's uh, Less than a month away less than a month away uh, Hopefully the official track list gets released with the features all of that. I Cannot wait, bro. It's been too damn long it's been too damn long, man. Definitely going to be in this chair to give y'all my reaction to it. So if you're not subscribed yet, definitely hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell as well so you'll get notified whenever I do upload my reaction after it's released. Also, real quick, aside from uh, you know this, this announcement and all that, um, I know I've been away from, I haven't uploaded nothing in little over a week. But uh, the Tri-City Vintage Flea Market just got over. Had a great time. Shout out to all the artists and all the vendors there. Um, got some vlog footage, so I'm going through and editing that right now. Also, I got a list, something, sort of an idea that came together at work. Um, I'm going to do a J. Cole top 10. I'm going to try to get it to top 10, but that's going to be hard as fuck. Maybe top 15, maybe top 20. But I'm going to go through my favorite J. Cole songs and rank them. Right now, I got a list of damn near 50 songs right now that I got to limit it down to. So definitely be on the lookout for that as well. I know there's a whole bunch of music that got released that I haven't got to, um, but I'm kind of just taking a little break, a little mental health break, but uh, your boy's going to be back in no time to give y'all the reactions and the breakdowns that y'all love. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of y'all uh, for fucking with the channel, for subscribing, for showing your support, no matter how you do that. Um, I, I can't say thank you enough. So uh, that's the video. Uh, definitely, like I said, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Hey, we got some new Kendrick, bro. One month, May 13th. Let's get it.